quick question, which of the co-defendants in Georgia are going to, you know, say, listen, I did this because of Trump. Who are the first ones who are going to throw him under the bus? That's what I want to know in this video. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Well, I've got them broken down into groups. Three groups. In the first group, there's five people. That's Trump, Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, Jeff Clark, and John Eastman. So those are like the top tier folks. This is These are my grouping, not any lawyers, just uh, from what I've been following. But I've been following pretty closely. The second group is three. So that Kenneth Chesbro, or Cheesebro, as I like to say, I don't know how he pronounces it, Mark Meadows, Chief of Staff, and then Jenna Ellis, that freaky attorney. So that's the three in group number two. And then the last group has a ton in it. And I got to get the list out that I made. So there's um, 11 people in here. There's Ray Smith III, Misty Hampton, Stephen Lee, Harrison Floyd. Now, Harrison Floyd is the fellow who got his bond after being in jail for a week or more, I think. Uh, so he finally got free recently. Then we had Ka Kathy Latham, uh, Scott Hall, Mike Roman, Robert Cheeley, uh, Sean Still, Trevian Cootie, and David Schaefer. So those are the 11 kind of smaller fish. Some of those were the ones that led him into the uh, office um, in Georgia. If you remember, some local official opened the door to let, uh, and Mark Meadows went in there too, I think, to let uh, folks go in there to look at the voting machines and, and I think with the intention of downloading information onto portable drives. So some of those folks there are those people. And some of those could be the electors, uh, the false electors. I'm not sure, but I think that's who some of those are. So my question is going to be in group one, group two, or group three, uh, which uh, are going to be, which group is going to have the first person to uh, to say, look, I would never have done any of this if Trump hadn't told me to do it, and I thought I was doing the right thing. So who's the first person in group five, or I'm sorry, in group one that has five people, I'm gonna draw one card and CSS that helps us figure out um, if anybody in that group is gonna be of the first ones to flip on Trump, or if there's none in that group, we'll just see how we interpret the card. So the first one. This is strength. Okay, so this is interesting. So, okay, we can look at this a few different ways. Uh, this is five, six, seven, eight. So this is the eight uh, of the major arcana, but this is strength, and this is a major arcana card of strength. So I'm going to say in that first group, which is Trump, Rudy, Sidney Powell, Jeff Clark, and John Eastman, okay, none of them are going to blame specifically Trump. I'm thinking Jeff uh, Sidney Powell might do it, but according to this, those are the ones who have the strength to hold on. Okay, so that's that. Now, the second group has three people in it. That's Kenneth Chesbro, Mark Meadows, the Chief of Staff, and Jenna Ellis, um, some attorney who's who's willing, who's been willing to give up her life uh, for Trump. So of that second group, is that going to be a group that produces the first one to flip on Trump? Ah, so this is very interesting. This is the Three of Pentacles. There's three people in this group, okay? And it's a second group. This this Three of Pentacles, uh, you know, Pentacles are value worth. This is a, a minor arcana, okay? This is just the Pentacle suit, and uh, this is the number three. But what it does denote is the Three of Pentacles is always working together for something in public display. I'm going to say these will, they will not be in this group. None of these will be the first ones to dump Trump in the second group of Kenneth Chesbro, Mark Meadows, and Jenna Ellis. Now, so that only leaves the third group. So there's 11 people in that third group. And let's see what the cards say about this third group. Uh, one card. Ah, yeah. So this is the 10. Oh, wow. This is very good. So this is the Ten of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. There are 11 people in that third group, 
but I want you to know that now there are just 10 people in that uh, third group with this 10 of wands, of actions, of plans, of moving forward, and, uh, and one person uh, aside from them kind of pushing the bundle up. So you could either think there's one person who's going to flip on Trump first. The first one, the first one to flip on Trump will be from that group. This is not saying that people in the other two groups won't eventually flip on Trump, but the, the first one apparently will be in this third group and that'll leave 10 uh, people in the group. And then um, just another quick draw because it's supposed to be a quick question. Now. I've got it dragging out here, but um, will these people giving up Trump be Trump's downfall? Three cards. One, two, three. Will the eventual people who give up Trump and this thing be the downfall of him? As far as this case is concerned, not in general. So, ah, wondering if I did enough. Seven of Pentacles. Ah, Theft and Betrayal. The Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. And the Lover's Card. So these are partnerships and this is Major Arcana. So, um, <laughs> So this is telling us there will be people left saying, oh no, did I do enough? And the whole thing hinges on um, um, an, um, abuse of power is what this one is actually. Five of Swords is uh, always more uh, accurate to, to call it an abuse of power. And that's what the whole thing is about. And then uh, in the end, there will be partnerships made. Um, my goodness. So... Of those 11, and I'll try to put their names up, uh, that's what's going to happen.